Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive for Windows using, surprisingly, an Android smartphone. Problems with booting an operating system may appear out of the blue, and usually it happens at exactly the wrong time. To make things even worse, a recovery disk or bootable USB drive might be missing just on this special day. But wait, isn't that a kind of a portable computer you're carrying around in your pocket? With an Android smartphone, you can easily create a bootable drive and restart the operating system of your computer. So, if your only PC or laptop won't boot and you decided to restore or reinstall its operating system, this video should be extremely useful. In a minute, I will show you in detail how to create a bootable USB drive or memory card for Windows using a portable Android device. So, let's begin. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. And before we start, let's find out what we need. First of all, a USB drive or memory card of sufficient capacity. It will have to be formatted, so if there is any important data, save it elsewhere. If you are going to use a USB drive, you will also need an on-the-go, also known as OTG, adapter to connect it to the smartphone. Before the process begins, make sure your phone's battery is fully charged, as creating a bootable drive is quite a long and power-consuming process. Finally, you need an ISO image of the operating system. You can download it from the Microsoft official website. It is necessary to have that image in the memory of your phone. So, open any browser from your Android device and search for a page where you can download an image of the operating system. I strongly recommend using images from the official website only. Select version, confirm it, select language, and confirm your choice again. After you select the image bitness, 32-bit or 64-bit, the download will start. Wait until the entire image file is downloaded. As soon as it's ready, start creating the bootable drive. In order to write an ISO image of the operating system to the storage device, you need to download a special app – ISO to USB – to your phone. It's a very simple tool, and it doesn't require you to have root permissions. Unfortunately, its description doesn't state clearly what particular image file types it supports, but user reviews suggest it can work successfully with Windows, Ubuntu, and other Linux distributives. All right. Now, connect the USB drive to your Android device and start the app. In the app window, tap on Pick button next to the line Pick USB pen drive and select your USB device. For the line Pick ISO file, also tap on the Pick button and specify the path to the ISO image file you have just downloaded. By default, it should be located in the Downloads folder. If the drive you are using is not empty yet, uh, check this box to have it formatted. Finally, tap Start and wait until the bootable USB drive is created. It takes quite a long time. When the drive is ready, you will see this notification – USB device removed. That's all. The bootable drive is ready to use, and you can insert it into one of the USB ports on your computer to boot from this drive. Visit our channel for a detailed video tutorial about installing an operating system, and you can find the link in the description below this video. If you connect the freshly created bootable drive to a computer with a Windows operating system already up and running, it will tell you the drive is faulty and suggest to fix it. Please don't! In fact, the USB drive is alright, and your computer won't have any problems with booting from it or installing the operating system. The reason why Windows responds so critically to this USB drive is that the Android app formats it in a way that seems unusual to the operating system, though it does use the proper FAT file system. You can see that the drive contains all the necessary components, everything works properly, 
and installation begins when the computer boots from the drive. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!